Hey everybody, Ron Bielefeld, Whistling Wings Photography. Got another video for you today. Uh, tip trick today on the video. Uh, as those of you who've watched any of my videos know, I'm a wildlife photographer, birds especially. And when you're out doing wildlife for birds, a lot of times you don't want to stand out, right? Like a sore thumb. So you wear camouflage, uh, clothing, that kind of rolls over to our camera equipment as well. And so there are many products on the market to help camouflage your uh, photo equipment so they don't stand out and give you away as far as getting close to birds or, or other wildlife. And that's what I want to talk about uh, this time. And so if you shoot Canon or Sony and potentially some other brands and you shoot longer focal lengths, this is just my old 400 5.6 as an example uh, they're white and that doesn't work well for wildlife unless you're know, getting close to wildlife and, and being camouflaged unless you're shooting in snow which of course some of us do at times and so then it's fine but a lot of times especially here in Florida where I live you need something like this right something that's green and browns and, and stuff like that so this doesn't uh, work too well there's products like I mentioned on the market, such as something like this. If I can get my beast of a 600 over here. Uh, the neoprene type uh, camouflage that you can buy. There are several brands of this on the market that you can get. And of course, it not only camouflages your white lens for the most part, but it also protects it, right? So it's, it's cushy and protects it from getting scratched and, and uh, banged around, which is, which is awesome. There are some problems, some things I don't like about the neoprene type, and that's the fact that over time it starts to fade, if you're in the sun a lot, like we are here in Florida and other places I shoot, and also things start to fray a bit, uh, and they tend to come with these windows, these clear windows over your switches and, and things that you want to move with, and they move around easily, they're small pieces. And so it's hard to move these things underneath there sometimes or even see them. Uh, the other thing, I, another thing I don't like is the fact that you can get sand and water underneath these, these neoprene sleeves and it can cause some issues that way. So what I want to talk about today is an alternative to the neoprene type camouflage for your bigger white lenses. And that's what I have right here. So this is my new Canon 100 to 500. And it is camouflage for the most part. I'm not quite done with it yet. But you can tell it's not neoprene, right? It's actually a self-adhesive type sticker product made by a company, which I'll mention in a moment what it is, and I'll put, of course, a link to, to where you can get this stuff in the uh, section down below in the description of this video. But anyway, uh, it adheres to the lens itself. So you're never going to get water underneath it. You're never going to get sand underneath it. This stuff does not fade. I've had it on parts of my pontoon boat for years. It looks as good as the day I put it on. And it comes in sheets of material, so you'll have to cut it to, uh, into strips and things like that to fit on the various parts of the lens that you want to cover, but it's really not that hard to do. And once it's on there, it's on there. It's not thick or cushy like neoprene, but you know what? It's going to protect from scratches and bumps and stuff just the same. I've had lenses with this on it for over a year, and the really cool thing about this stuff is that when you go to take it off, it comes right off with no residue on the lens, nothing. No sand got underneath it, no water got underneath it. It comes off and your lens is basically like pristine new, right? I love it. This is what I'm doing with all of my lenses now, is putting this material on here. So now you're saying, of course, well, what is the material? What is it? It's this stuff right here. It comes in sheets. Like I said, this is a small piece but you can get it basically in two foot lengths or four foot widths, and then however long you really want it, you can buy it in a roll. It's not super cheap, but 
to do a lens like that 100 to 500, it's a couple dollars worth of material, right? So you can go online. This stuff is called Mossy Oaks Graphics. Okay, Mossy Oaks Graphics is what this stuff is, is called. It's made uh, of a material that is unlike anything I've ever uh, used before. And it's basically you peel the backing off. It's a 3M product. And then you have a very thin, as you can see, a very thin material that you apply to the lens in this case, right? Well, the cool thing is how thin it is, but it's also repositionable. So if you put it on and you get it on wrong, you can pull it right off, no residue, reposition it. And then what you do is you add a little bit of heat to it when it's where you want it and you want it to really stick down, right? When you're done, you take a hair dryer and just warm it up. I'm not talking about hot. You just warm it up a little bit and it sticks down and you press it down on the lens in this case and it's going to stay there. It's not coming off until you take it off. And then, like I said, to take it off leaves no residue on whatever it was on. And to take it off again, you just warm it up a little bit, grab the end of it, and just peel it right off. I love it. It's what I'm going to do to all my lenses. And here's something that this stuff can do that the neoprene definitely can't. So I'm sure a lot of you have had lenses that when you zoom them, this is a zoom, right? When you extend them out, some of them extend like this one does, there's a big white area underneath here, usually, right? That you can't easily camouflage. You can't put the neoprene stuff over that at all. They, they come with that, but then you have to take it on and off all the time. This stuff is so thin that it goes on right underneath the, uh, the barrel of the lens when, when you retract it in. No problem whatsoever, just like that. So now there's nothing to take on and off. And when you extend out, it's camouflaged just like the rest of your lens, right? So I love this stuff, and so I wanted to let you all know about it. And again, I will have a link in the description for this video, and I hope you all give it a shot. Now, I'm going to give you a warning, right? And I'm not liable for any damages to your lenses for doing this. You need to use Mossy Oaks Graphics product. If you find a cheaper version of something like this and you put it on your lens and then you go to take it off and it leaves a bunch of residue on there, hey, you know, you need to use the Mossy Oaks Graphics product because I know for a fact that that product does not leave a residue when you take it off. And I don't care if you leave it on for two years, it doesn't leave a residue when you pull it off. And so please use Mossy Oaks Graphics product if you're going to do this to your lenses or cameras and things like that, things you don't want to get all gooed up. Because I can almost guarantee you that some off-brand products are going to leave a residue. So I hope you found this interesting and maybe helpful. And maybe you'll go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I sure love it. And until next time, hey, get out there, take some pictures, be safe, and I'll see you soon.